everyone, it's Aneta with K-pop Oracles. Happy New Year. I'm back with another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is a request from a patron and it's on the group The New Six. So yeah, this is a career prediction reading for, for this year, 2024. Let's go, go ahead and dive right in and see what's in store for them in 2024. The New Six. Okay, I pull like three cards. Got the world. Okay, and this one came out two of swords. We got the strength. Okay, let's start with these cards. So, okay. Two of Swords, it's a possibility that there may be someone who's going to want to take a time out, to want to take a little break, or it could just be in general taking a break to f f figure out priorities and whatnot, okay? So this can mean inaction, a pause, an activity, but we have the World and Strength card here, okay? It can mean the Strength card indicates getting through the, that difficult time, um, coming back strong after a period of rest and relaxation or time out. The world card indicates success here. It can mean them finding happiness in their career, finding success, okay? It can mean them possibly getting gaining attention from people around the world. Six of Pentacles, okay. Let me pull like a couple more cards. Nine of Swords, okay. We have Seven of Pentacles, okay. So it could be that the reason why this whoever wants to take a time out or rest right here is because they may, and uh, there may be feelings of restlessness, stress, you know, things that are bothering them at night or keeping them up at late at night. It's like it's it's taking a, a lot of their time and attention, okay? Um, with the Six of Pentacles here, it can mean them doing charity work, giving back to the community, donating a portion of their, you know, record sales or concert sales to something or do donating their time to a cause. Seven of Pentacles indicates they may be kept really busy this year, like really... It seems a little tiring, so they may be t feeling tired at times, but it seems like their hard work may pay off. Ace of Pentacles. Got the full. We got temperance. We got judgment day. Okay, so yeah, so after they have to, I guess after they go through these t difficult moments here with the nine of swords and two of swords here, um, there may be a sense of renewal. Okay, judgment. It's gonna, I feel like success for them will take some time and patience with the temperance card here, okay? So I feel like um, they're gonna be really spending a lot of time perfecting their craft and also just like being, I feel like growing as individuals, like maybe like go, going for maybe a mature sound or look maybe with the full card, it can mean them taking more risk next, this year doing something that they've never done before, stepping out of their comfort zone. It seems like it would it would be a great business venture if they were to do that with the Ace of Pentacles here. It can mean more business opportunities coming their way, more collaborations, sponsorships. All right, what else? We got growth, okay.
The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So growth and the people who, who you spend the most time with shape who you are. So, okay, so they may be surrounded by, I guess, mentors, like just people who are there for them, people who are going to help them grow, people who are going to um, help them succeed in this industry with growth card here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you see a hand with a crumpled ball of money. So, I mean, it's a sign that money is coming in. Um, it could mean them... So, so just good news, I guess, fi fin finance, financially. Um, it can mean like more opportunities for collabs, sponsorships and whatnot. It can mean, yeah, just a lot of promising opportunities coming our way. Leadership, okay. It can mean them take being seen as, I guess, leaders in the industry. It can mean them growing. It can mean them succeeding and just, just being up there, okay, like on par like or with, with the other groups. It seems like, yeah, maybe they're struggling financially right now, but it seems like it will improve, okay? Okay, we got, let's see here, we got loss coming out, we got spirituality coming out, what else? We got surprise, okay. Alright, spirituality, I mean, they could literally be, they might be into like, just spirituality in general, like maybe they could, they, could, they may... I don't know, like maybe consult tarot readers or maybe even astrologers for assistance or maybe really into astrology this year um, with loss here. It could just mean, yeah, the end of something and the beginning of something new. So um, there may be some sad moments they have to, may have to deal with, okay? Um, with surprise here, uh, I feel like they're just like, Maybe, maybe like right now, they're just feeling like, okay, there's a lack of control, feeling like um, they don't have much of a say. So with the surprise here, the card here, they're just, I feel like they'll be more careful at planning at things, um, being prepared for whatever comes their way. Okay. All right. What do they got to do with? We got perfectionism, okay. We got karmic cycle. Okay, so perfectionism, okay. So there may be some issues. Okay, so maybe dealing with the idea of perfectionism like maybe being hard on themselves or just people being hard on them so that's something they may have to look out for karmic cycle um them just being more careful and you know not especially when it comes to their money like trying not to be reckless maybe it's just there are people around them who are just not that great with money so that's something they want to avoid is being reckless with money um being more wise, more mature. Okay, what else? We got thorns. It says weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new future, new and positive future. Okay, yeah, so there may be some challenges that are coming their way, some things that are just gonna be like a thorn on their side. But it's going to help them grow. It's going to help them help possibly bring a positive future. We got fire at the bottom of the deck here. It says let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Yeah, just them possibly dealing with a lot of like emotional events. A lot of difficulties that are going to 
caused them to feel a certain way, but it's, but I think in the end, they'll feel a sense of renewal, feel, feel a sense of passion, uh, feeling strong, okay? So, it seems like, I guess there's some ups and downs, but, you know, it's not the end of the world, okay? So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter at KpopWorkers1, you know, on Patreon. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.